Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, in today's video, uh, I'll teach you how you can implement maps, how you can show Google Maps in your Salesforce org or in your uh, application. So basically, we'll be having a Lightning Web component for that. And using our Lightning Web component, we'll be displaying the Google Map uh, into, into our Salesforce org basically. So uh, earlier, uh, I still remember like uh, when I was a web developer. So to display the Google map, we, you know, simply used to have the iframe tag in, in our HTML file. And using that iframe tag, we can just simply, you know, embed the Google map into that iframe tag. But uh, unfortunately in Salesforce, the iframe tags are not working very efficiently because, you know, uh, I mean, Salesforce blocked the third party, you know, iframe uh, URLs due to the uh, security violations issue so that's that's why you won't be able to you know make it using the iframe so uh, but you don't have to worry because in salesforce we are having a specific tag for that which can be used in a lightning web component and then the the lightning web component can be used on your application itself okay so let me show you the output first so guys, this is the output of the maps. So this is, I mean, these both are, uh, uh, these are the common, uh, common component. Why I'm having it twice here, just to show you like uh, the component, the map is completely responsive. It is a responsive design. So let's say if it is having the space here, so you may notice the markers on the right side and open in Google map button on the, on the bottom of the map. And if it is having not enough space, so the markers and the open Google map uh, button will be on uh, underneath the map section. So guys, this will be the map format. You can simply like zoom in, zoom out, like what the default functionality we are getting with the Google map. You can put the markers here. You can see the title and description. Title Salesforce bold. Description is I'm here. And on the right side, you may notice the markers here. Okay. Now let me show you the code. So guys, this is my HTML page. And uh, in my HTML side, I'm using a tag, which is lightning map. So this is the default tag that can be used with your lightning web component to display a map in your application. So guys, in, in this map, I'm having a few parameters here. Like uh, the first parameter is map markers. So base markers basically as it is uh, understood by its name. So where you would like to show the mark on the map. So this will be basically your location. This could be either complete address or you may also use uh, the geo course like longitude and latitude to display the location. It's completely up to you what, what you prefer. Next, we are having zoom level. So you can also, uh, you know, set the zoom level like uh, how how zoom uh, the location should be in your map so in salesforce in this lightning map we are having zoom level like uh, google maps api support zoom level from 1 to 22 in desktop browser and from 1 to 20 on mobile so the 22 will be highest and one will be the lower I'll, I'll show you the example right now and after that you are having list view this list view is this uh, the right side of the list this is the list view basically so if you like to display the list view or not, so that can be also, you know, configured using this lightning map tag. And at the end, you may notice the show footer attribute here. So guys, using the show footer, you'll be able to display this button, which says open in Google map, which will, you know, open your Google map directly into the Google. Uh, so basically it will open a Google map, which you are displaying on your component to the Google maps page officially. For example, so it will basically redirect you to the maps.google.com. Here you go. And you are having the same same location. So this is basically where I live. Okay. So, so this can be also configured. You can also configure it. I mean, if it's up to you if you'd like to display the button to redirect the user to the map itself or you, you just want to keep it in your org only. So it's completely up to you. Now let me move to the JavaScript part. So guys in JavaScript part, I'm having these three parameters here like map markers, zoom level and list view. And as you can see, I'm using it in 
connected callback because uh, I'm just displaying the map uh, on the load of my component. You can uh, like uh, wire it as per as your method. Let's like, say if you are having a wire method in your component, then you may wire the data in that uh, wire method, and uh, after that uh, you you may you know get an array from your uh, using a circle, and you can pass the values here. Like uh, you may notice in map markers, I'm having a location. In location I have passed city country postal these are the actual values even the street address is genuine here otherwise you know the map won't be able to find the exact location and then it will try to you know find the location nearby to the next parent let's say if you will enter a wrong seat wrong street here then the map will still show you location uh, which will be in the related city okay but you won't be getting the exact address here Underneath that, you can also mention the title, description, and uh, there's an option to add the icon as well. So if you'll see in title, I'm having Salesforce Bolt. Here it is. And description, I'm having, I'm here. And icon, this is the icon. So you may also, you know, customize this icon based on your location or based on your preference as well. Okay. And underneath that, you will notice I'm using the zoom level also. So zoom level can be... 1 to 22 in a desktop browser so let's say if i make it 15 so now the location will be a little more in zoom what you are seeing now compared to this location so this will be a little more uh, on the wider scope so let me just refresh the page okay i don't see much difference here i don't know maybe you know let's let's try to increase it more so we can you know easily identify the difference here okay it is deployed let's go to component refresh the page yes now you can see that so this this basically uh zoom a uh, uh, higher uh, focus on zoom so you may also configure the zoom based on one is the least and 22 is the highest on the browser version so guys, that's how you, you may configure the map in your custom lightning map component. And let's say if you are having multiple locations, let's say if you need multiple markers on this map. So that is also possible, guys. You just have to pass the value in this array. So this basically map marker is an array, array of values. Like this is just for a demo purpose. That's why I'm using the values manually. Otherwise, you may uh, connect it with your uh, object itself and get the values dynamically from there. So let's say if I would like to display one more location. So I'll just copy this array string. Uh, let's keep the same values here. Let's change the street address only. Okay. So I'm just entering another address from the city. And let's change the title. Let's make it test location. And in description let's just type success save it deploy it okay it is deployed now let's refresh the page now if you will notice there are two markers right now on the map and if you notice like there was a good animation while you know it is getting loaded so this is also default functionality of google like you will be getting these kind of animations so this is the list view where you are having these two locations see okay and when you will click on it up uh, there will be a pop-up which will uh, there will be pop over basically which will display the title and the description as well and apart from this guys you you can use the default functionality of maps like zoom in zoom out street view other views also available here so yep uh, that's it how you can implement the google maps in your lightning map component okay and guys as usual i'll, I'll be having the complete code on my blog itself which is salesforcebold.com so if you need the complete code then you may directly go to that blog and check the code there feel free to modify it as per requirement guys all right and if you like today's video don't forget to subscribe on the youtube channel itself i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching